some tea, please, Christabel? Hey, what's up? Meet Shania Neve, head of computers at the CIA. Oh, I do wish you wouldn't lounge, Bane. Sit up. You're worse than a mother. I am worse than your mother. I'm head of UK intelligence, for heaven's sake. They're shutting down the internet. I've got slow broadband myself, Mum. This is no time for jokes, Bane. The internet shuts down at 9.30 tomorrow morning, for good. Perhaps if you'd paid the bill. Everywhere. The whole world. What? How? We received this. Nonsense. That's impossible. Who could do that? The Russians? Whoever sent this has shut down our monitoring station in Bromley. It's all gone, Bane. All of it. Have they tried turning it on and off again? Be serious. The code has wiped out not only the database, but the whole operating system. Computers are just screens sitting on desks now. Hundreds of them. Their phones just turn on and blink. Not even a home screen. Sounds like the Russians. Moscow's Q section was shut down too. Also Washington P section. It's the same around the world. Look at this thing. For now, the internet still works, at least here. Reports are coming in that say the internet could end tomorrow. It could be the end of life as we know it. Miss Fortago, Christabel, how are you today? I'm very well, Bane. This is my daughter, Tamara. Bring your daughter to work, eh? Yes. Tamara, say hi to Mr. Bane. Mum, I was going to. Just let me get one of everything. Ooh, Jeffy cakes! Tamara brought them especially for you. Well, she can come again. Mr. Bane? Never said no to a Jaffa cake before. Are oh, they biscuits? I could just see you as a boy, sir. Jeff the cakes with your mother and father having a lovely picnic on Brighton Beach. Indeed. Anything else? That'll be all. If the internet goes down, society will collapse. And no one knows who it could be? Just one. There's a hacker called Dread who we've had our eye on. Info is fuzzy, but we think it may be an old lady from Paris. What? Exactly. Hard to pin down, but the whispers are dread. It's a former teacher from Paris who picked up her skills in a coding class. One thing is strange, though. She appears to have very good access to this office. Some of the chat room gossip says that she has access to this very building. But we've checked all the staff. There's no one matching the description. Everyone has clearance. You must find this dread woman and stop her before 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. Tell me what you know, or I'll... Oh, please, I don't know anything. Please, stop. Oh, I don't know anything. Please. And look at me, I don't know anything about this dead person. Wait, what are you going to do with that soul? Hand me that scoop. Oh, I'm nearly ready. It will be if you just... International terrorists, come here, you two. They know nothing evil. So if you download the software, you can get the money from the bank to the Caymans by lunchtime. Oi, what do you think you're doing? I love Jaffa Gates. Who the hell are you? The name's Bane, John Bane. Well, man, I ain't done nothing. I'm looking for dread. It's more than my life's worth. I'm looking for a little old lady in Paris. You fell for that stupid lie. There is no little old lady. She's a genius. So brilliant that everyone thinks she is. But actually, I heard she was, she was younger. How much younger? I think it's a joke, but some people say she's still in school. No joke, thanks. So you're not going to hit me? I'm going to hit you, yeah. You're robbing banks. Thanks for making my traffic, pig. Oh, 
Oh my god. Zed. Bane. Any news? Seal your building now. Dread is inside. Don't say a word. Dread is your guest. Don't be absurd. I'm on my way. Hi, Miss Vortaga. Hi, Bane. Hi. Hey, is the woman from the CIA still upstairs with Zed? Yes, do you want to go up? No, I want you to put your hands up. Bane! Not you, you! I knew it. You are dread. You better believe it, Franny. The cleverest, meanest hacker in the world. Tomorrow? Mum, get out of my room! Well, this is embarrassing. Not to my butt by a girl. How old are you? Ten? It is embarrassing, you dinosaur. I'm the cleverest in the world. I've messed up the government plans for London, Moscow and New York. Shouldn't you still be at school? How'd you work it out? You slipped up. Rubbish, I never slip up. Never handed in your homework, late. Silence! Tell me. Do you want me to be silent or tell you? You asked if I like Jaffa Cakes. So? Then you said, I bet you enjoyed Jaffa Cakes by the sea with your mum and dad in Brighton. And? You were having a dig at me about the day my mum and dad got washed out to sea during a family picnic when I was your age. So? The only way you could have known that is by hacking my top secret personnel file. I haven't told your mum or anyone but Zed about that. MI10 recruited me because I was bitter and angry, just like you. It makes no difference. You're too late to stop me. This is the crypto box. I've already launched it. This time tomorrow, there will be no internet. People will riot. Governments will fall. I will step in with the solution. The grateful people of the world will make me their ruler. You're mad. When I was at nursery, I bit all the other children, and they said I was mad. Well, you've got to admit. When I built my first server and hacked the local library, age six, they said, what a mad little girl. Well, that's three people who have said it now. Take a hit. No! Come back, back in! I've only got two percent left! You can't take down the internet if you haven't charged your phone. The crypto box has failed. Tomorrow, what are you doing? Mama! Well done. Jaffa cake? I prefer biscuits.